homeschoolers and welcome back to our channel thank you thank you so much for all the new subscribers welcome 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 to the party thank you so much you guys coming over from kit karibu sana karibu sana we are so stoked that you're here we are absolutely honored to have you here and we hope that you will enjoy our content asante sana for subscribing so over the last week, we have been sharing DIY gift ideas that you can make at home for like very little money, little to no money at all, and um, giving them out as gifts to your family and loved ones. So I have, I've shown you a few of, um, a few gifts that we have packaged in glass bottles like these that we have actually upcycled from from our um marinara you know the, the 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 italian pasta marinara you buy the pizza sauce that you buy it all comes in a glass jar so um this is what we've been using and i mentioned that in, in some of the videos when we were making this um uh, uh pick me up jars and the and and the these words jars for kids i mentioned that we use this um this that we recycle these glasses and i know i know i know i know that you all know the struggle that comes with getting this tag off you know i don't know what they do to it i don't know what kind of sorcery i don't know what kind of supernatural glue they use to put these tags on but if you try to pull them off you most often get something like that so to begin this video I, i'm going to be teaching you a hack on how to get this so easy so easy so at, at the startup homeschoolers we work smart we don't necessarily work hard we work smart okay great so here comes the hack i'm going to take you over to my kitchen sink and then give you that hack so we are at my sink and I do have hot water running through the faucet here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let it run and kind of fill this basin with hot water. You could also do that with uh, boiled water from a kettle. You could also do that, just kind of add it in there. Um, that's an option. But since I have hot water here, I don't really need to heat up some water. And then just throw your glasses in. Making sure that you immerse the, the places with the thing. Another, actually you could open them up and just kind of drown it and see if it sits like that. See? This one is a little bit difficult to do because it has content in there and I don't want that content to get wet. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you that you could also do it. So I like to use this trick if I do have um, guests and I'm having like we're having an antipasto or something and I want to serve use this glass to serve on the day of the party. Um, I get rid of this tag by just doing that throwing it into the water and having this peel off and then I can have a cute jar that that um that I can use to serve on on uh, during parties or whatever yeah so it's quite it's very very easy to do so you're just gonna let it sit there for for a while if your water is hot really really hot uh, you should be able to see some lift off um some tags are easier than others I'll I'll say that um, some are, some are easier than others. Some just come out as a whole thing. I'll show you some that I've worked on. Some come out like that, like a whole piece. Others are, are a little bit more challenging, but this trick should be able to help you to get out the, this without, without a lot of, without a lot of struggle. Okay. So I took these are the most difficult ones and i took just to show you that you can you actually can do it um and the essence here is the hot water just goes in to melt the glue that is underneath there so you don't end up with something like this because that's just ugly you can't use that so look at that it 
kind of just moves off the glass so you don't have any ugly look at that it's so easy you don't need to spend hours i don't know doing what's trying to scrub something off very very easy and and if you get a stubborn part that doesn't want to come out just dunk it back into the water teach the bottle who's boss there you go see very very easy and as you can see my my product in here is still dry yeah so that's a hack i wanted to share with you guys um and just in, to keep in tandem with this you know hack thing and enriching your lives giving you content that is good um I'm gonna be sharing with you. So to crown our DIY Christmas gift series, I thought that I would end this series um, by showing you how to package and how to create baskets out of the different things that we have been making this week, all right? So I think I have uh, four baskets that I wanna show you um, and they're themed, of course, uh, that you can make for your friends and your loved ones with um, the stuff that we've taught you how to make during this past week, all right? Okay, so, but first things first, I need to talk about what you will need, okay? So my table is a mess right here, but because I'm in the middle of, of fixing everything but um so we are really really big on sustainable living we're big on sustainability so that means that if we can recycle something if we can upcycle stuff we will most probably go that way so um this is an ordinary box that i got from uh, actually yes this is a pesto box i think you can see that i don't know if you were able to see yes so i was out shopping yesterday and um, the guy that works at the, um, the, there was a guy working at the supermarket and he was like emptying this and putting them on the shelf. And I just asked, because you can ask them, I've also done this in Kenya, by the way, in Carrefour, I needed to create, I needed to make a um, cake board for a cake I was making for someone. I just asked for, for that, uh, the, the cartons that they had the extra cartoon that they they throw it away so you can use it you can ask for it so i asked i asked for this um, little box and uh, many others i think i'll just show you how many i have i have yeah a lot of boxes as you can see that i just get from the supermarkets while they empty i just ask for them and then i come and keep them and um, you can do a lot with a box like this. I mean, you don't have to go out and buy a new box or whatever. No, 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 no. You can upcycle, you can recycle. So what I do and what I did with this is that I went ahead and took your normal, ordinary newspaper and just went to town with it. I know, I know you already guessed what, what we did. We just went and covered it with the newspaper, wrapped it around with the newspaper, and voila, we have a perfect box that we can use to to uh, create our gifts. Okay, um, so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna insert a clip here showing you how I did this, how I made this basket, just to show you how easy it is. This is a tea, the tea inspired basket. It's for tea, your tea lovers. Um, I'm going to walk you through what is in this box later, but I, I, I kind of did a quick, um, I kind of made this box on camera for you guys and you should see it, um, somewhere. I'm going to insert, insert a clip where you see how I got this done. It's cute. It's chic. It is, you know, it's a gift that counts. And of course it's also the thought that counts. So yeah. Anywho. So we've talked about the box. So you can use a box, you can use a basket, you can use whatever, whatever that you have at hand. You don't need to go out and buy stuff, okay? Um, another thing. So to fill in the boxes, you see that I have these um, kind of fillers, yeah? And they are DIY. And I'm going to be inserting a clip to show you how I went ahead to create that. But maybe I want to kind of show you what it is that I used. 
um, in Denmark, they have these magazines that in the tourism industry where they kind of produce them and they are like every year, every single year, they create these um, destination magazines for different destinations. As you can see, this one is from 2020. So we are at the end of this year. So that means they cannot be used for next year. So all of them that have, all the ones that have been produced, waste. All right. So I'm going to, this is like, this is exactly what I used to create this filler. And all I did was I have this, um, uh, let me show you just a minute. So I have this uh, shredder. It's not a shredder. I can't remember what it's called, but it's, you kind of just use it to cut papers. I would call it a shredder. I can't remember. It's, it's got a name. I don't know what it is. Can't remember. So anyway, um, as you can see, this is, this is the one that I've already started cutting. This is a full one. And all you kind of need to do, and, and you could also do this with scissors as well. You could do it with a knife. You could do it whatever. I mean, if you, if you use a scissors, scissors, see, you can use scissors to do that. If you don't have this, it just takes a bit more time if you're using scissors, right? But even when you use scissors, see, you have the same results, right? But thankfully... I have this thing that I could borrow. I, I borrowed from our church, um, and you kind of just. I, ha I think I have to stand. to walk you through the gift baskets that I have made and this is of course a compilation of the different things that we've been showing you how to make um, in our DIY Christmas vlog series right okay great so you remember that I made um, what <laughs> I printed out something and I uh, colored it it's now packed in wrapped in and it's in here and as you can see it is to Sadie, Sadie Moose, I call her Sadie Moose, yes, and that I'm going to pair, okay, I'm not going to pair this with anything, because what I have here is essentially my take on, um, on an advent basket, so it's not really a Christmas gift, but an advent, uh, advent basket, but we have taught you how to make these this um little beautiful thing and that's the uh, one where we had the, these words and we had scriptures in there for the kids um there's a printout in under that video in the description box of box of that video you can print it out and use it um then in here i have i made something else that you can find in the description box of this video it is uh would you rather kids edition i don't know if you can see that uh -uh. yeah it's um would you rather 
kids uh, edition and it's really good because it's got really really cute questions um that the kids can can um can ask and play right i, I think i'm gonna open it up wrap it up and show you um so it's a little nice keepsakes bottle and there they are there they are and you just pick a question i think there are about 200 or 250 questions so there are a lot um so this one says would you rather be able to change colors like a chameleon or would you rather uh, or hold your breath under water for an hour then you know they would answer what they think it's a really really cool one um what i like about this one is that it's it's quite clean in the sense that and it's and it and it explores a child's imagination so i have we have another one we have another printout for a family edition which is also which also includes you know um explores adults uh, minds and imaginations and or lim the limitations thereof <laughs> um that you can also download you can find an, in the description box of this video but this one is especially fun for the kids because this is just it explores it asks all those questions that you know kids go around thinking and and it's really really fun for the kids um and the people who are children at heart yeah so so yeah and i have unwrapped it but but it, it is going into this little box and then these are storytelling cubes that i got um at at a dollar store here you'd call it a dollar store here it's the, it's a very cheap uh, shop it's uh, we call it tier um, and that's that's actually means because most of the things there are ten kroner. Um, so yeah, that and then a pack a deck of cards as you can see. So that's a very pretty little easy gift that you can make. And every, anything that you would have bought in this gift set would be these two things. The rest are homemade, and and maybe also the the frame to this uh, to to the to the yeah to the printable in here. So that that would be the only thing that you buy and as you can see it's not such a big investment um and i am sure any kid would be happy to get a package like this or a gift like this okay so that's the first one the second one is for your tea lovers and i i know you remember we made three uh flavors of tea um and i decided to highlight the relaxation tea there this is the lavender tea that i have in this box and then I went ahead and bought a little uh, thermal cup. So right there that keeps the uh, heat warm. Then I have some, some of our honey butter. I don't know if you're able to see the honey butter in there. And of course, chocolate. I can show you. So I have the honey butter in here, right there. And then, because there are people who like honey in, in their tea. And then I've got this little nice you know sieve that you can just drop in the cup and make tea yeah so you kind of have to open okay yeah it's a lift off lift yeah and then you make the tea and just throw it in there and it's perfect actually this this holds two tablespoons of any tea um any loose loose leaf tea two tablespoons of it and that's perfect for a cup of tea so it's quite quite easy so when you gift it together with with your tea blend they already know how much to use but i have also gone gone ahead and written on the card there what they need to do what tea it is it's a relaxation tea and um that it needs to steep for about five minutes and how much to put two tablespoons yeah so a little nice gift for your tea lover for your tea loving friends and of course i i have i have put a, a box of chocolate in all of them because who doesn't like chocolate who does not like chocolate anyone who does not like chocolate is capable of murder that's it no discussion there that's what it is so <laughs> there you go that is the bo box uh, set uh, the gift basket for your tea lovers then we also made some spices um, and this for the people who like to cook who like to think about in their kitchen 
and as you can see it's quite simple but very very beautiful um your spices are right there the three spices that we made and of course a box of chocolate again so we have the cajun spice we have the pilau masala and we have the chai um chai spice all right the next one is this one and this was for your bread lovers or for someone that you know loves bread this is it this is it this is a bread roll mix that we made and that's of course the honey butter is uh, featuring in this box as well because they pair well very very well and then i have decided to also in this box to put in the one of the teas that we made the swahili inspired tea this is the one that had cardamom and um, cardamom and ginger so i kind of just labeled it put it in a tea bag and labeled it right there i don't know if it's able to pick up so the light right there so i wrote it's a swahili inspired black tea blend and i just kind of put it in there because yeah then they have a whole box that they can enjoy they can break out and enjoy when they need to okay my last box is my absolute favorite one um and this is a one oh i love this box i just love it i love it i think it's just ah oh, so well put together <laughs> um, and also because we made a lot of the things in here um so in this box we have the pick me jar, uh, pick me up jar right there and then we have the lip scrub that we made. Um, so this is a wellness, this is a wellness or a pick me up uh, basket. Okay, so we can call it a pick me up basket because it has the the pick me up uh, the pick me up jar. Or you could also call it a wellness or a self care basket. Hey, I like that. This is a self care basket. Yeah. So it's got the pick me up jar. It's got that lip um, lip scrub that we made. It's got a candle. Oh my god, these are gorgeous. They this one they smell so good. Oh my god. They smell so good. I love them. I love them. So they have a candle that they can light when they need to when they want to just, you know, kind of hang out or want to relax and you know, yeah, have a spa day kind of a thing for themselves. Um so there's that. And then there's also the coconut turmeric moisturizer that we made we have the two in one the two in one coffee and turmeric um scrub or mask and i've gone ahead and written the instructions behind there so that they know what to do and then i have paired this with the relaxing I paired this with the relaxing lavender tea. So the relaxing lavender and peppermint tea. That's what I've paired um, this gift box with. I'm just going to put it back. So it's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. And there you go. There you go. And of course, a box of chocolate because why not? Because why not? Yeah. So as you can see, it's quite, quite easy to make these boxes um, w w using very, very little money. But I am sure the... I'm sure the amount of love and, and the appreciation that you get from creating something like this for someone is unmeasured. Um, yeah. So... I think that's about it. That's it for this video. Um, do I say I really have anything else I want to show you? No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this content. I hope that you um, like these boxes. Um, kindly go ahead and tell me which of this is your favorite. I'm just gonna put them here <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take good shots of them and then show you. I'm gonna link them somewhere here, somewhere. I have no idea where um maybe here yeah right here this space yes right here i'll put some some um i'll put the different boxes pictures of the different box boxes then you can tell me 
your favorite box and tell me why. Also, let me know which of these boxes you'll be making and in what of the, which of the DIY uh, Christmas gifts you will be trying, okay? Um, remember that we do have a giveaway on the 24th of December to two of our subscribers and all you need to do to be eligible is to take a screenshot of any of our Vlogmas videos, share it on your, on your um, social, social media pages, tag us at um, the Startup Homeschoolers and you can also tag me at Empress Shiro on Instagram and boom, you are eligible for the draw of the giveaway, okay? So... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching us all this. And oh my gosh, a very warm welcome to all the new subscribers. We are just overwhelmed. Thank you so much for coming over. We hope that you're enjoying the content and uh, we look forward to journeying with you. So that's it for today. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 15. Until then, Kwaheri!